Hello, my name is Becky and I am a co-founder here at Fresh Prep. Today I have with me Miru in the test kitchen who is a chef, cookbook author, and co-owner of Veach's Restaurant here in Vancouver. What are we cooking today? We're gonna to be making the Veach's chicken curry today oh. with some spiced cauliflower. Fantastic. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna get right into it here. We've got our ingredients all in front of us. So we have some cauliflower florets, some diced onions, cilantro, Veach's masala, garlic, ginger, a spice blend, some boneless, skinless chicken thighs, basmati rice, diced tomatoes, whipping cream, chili flakes, and some naan bread. So why don't we get into it? We okay. have our first step here, which is preheating our oven to 425, which we already have going. So what do we do next? The cauliflower. Yes. We're gonna, now this is already washed, patted dry. Yes. Very important to pat that dry. Mm -hmm. So you're gonna chop that up a little bit. Okay. So cauliflower is an Indian staple. The two Indian staple vegetables are cauliflower and eggplant. And we have like a million things we can do with cauliflower. <laughs> it's one of my favorite veggies for yeah. sure. Is this size about right? Do we want it smaller, bigger? I would do a little bit smaller. A little bit smaller? Yeah, I would okay. do a little bit smaller. So kind of like. Yeah, like and, so. you know, it's absolutely fine if some pieces are a little bit bigger than the other, and then you're just gonna get different textures. I love that. Though. Right, and so that way you're pleasing everybody. Somebody who wants a piece cooked through, and then just a little slightly al dente piece of cauliflower as well. And so I also have some fresh cilantro here. I'm gonna get that all prepped up as well and ready to go. Okay. What are your tips for cutting fresh cilantro? Most important thing is a lot of people think that the cilantro stems are not to be used, okay? And the stems, if you ask me, and if again, if you go to Vidges, um, I actually prefer the stems to the leaves. Yeah, especially if you're gonna be cooking it, the stems just put such a nice, richer flavor into the curry. I totally agree, and I think you just get so much more actual cilantro flavor when you're using the whole thing. I actually did a chutney at the restaurant, mm -hmm. just cilantro stems. Ooh. Yeah. And then the other thing is, if, if uh, people are confused, cilantro, we say, is for the green herb, and then coriander is the seed. Okay. Yeah. And so some people confuse cilantro and coriander. So coriander is the spice that you use in the masala, and then cilantro is the green herb that you use. The fresh. The fresh, yeah. Love that. So we're gonna get this cauliflower all seasoned up and onto a foil-lined baking sheet, yeah. and then we're gonna season it, right, yeah. before we roast it. Yeah. And you have prepared this lovely uh, Vegas masala mm -hmm. spice blend for us. Yes. Uh, which I'm so excited about. What's What goes in that spice blend? So the Vidges Masala, it's my own version of what people, I guess, would call a curry powder that you would buy. It. I don't like saying that, but it's my version of a curry powder. The main spices in here are, and ours are organic, cumin, mm -hmm. organic coriander, mango powder, asafoetida, uh, turmeric, and some cayenne pepper. And what I've done is I've mixed it in the amounts that I feel are just perfect in a curry. And the beautiful thing about a Vidges Masala is you can use this spice blend mm -hmm. in 50 different curries and each curry is gonna taste different. So this is actually the core of Indian cooking. Ooh. right here. We've chosen to use this on the cauliflower and the curry itself, yep. right? Yeah. So we're gonna get kind of, you were mentioning earlier, we're gonna get kind of a different flavor profile in each one of those. And with Indian food, it's how you use the spices yeah. and how you use the other ingredients. And so you've got two completely different, well, it's Indian, so it's not that different, but you're, you've got two <laughs> different dishes using the same anchoring of spices. So make sure it kind of gets into the actual floret itself ah. versus the bottom of the tin. Like massage it in. Yeah, massage it in. Okay, got it. And the thing with the oil is make sure that the oil is also not concentrated in one section. Uniformly just spread over the, all the cauliflower. Oh, I love that, okay. And then okay. the other thing is you're gonna notice that as you're stirring this, right? Mm -hmm. The cauliflower, you got little small yeah. little floret. That's, that's, little bits. that's fine. Yeah. And those little pieces are gonna be delicious. When I talk about Indian cooking, salt and pepper, um, I feel like households need to know what they're comfortable with. Mm, okay, right? so, so adjusting. Um, yeah, so just make sure you adjust. I don't want to take responsibility for anybody's <laughs> salt intake. So in there, I would add like a quarter of a teaspoon. Quarter of a teaspoon yeah. of salt and pepper. So I've got a little half here. I'll just yeah. do half of that. Okay, there we go. So once we're all seasoned up here, we're just gonna set this aside now that we're all good to go. And I'm using my hands here, which I actually love. I think this gets you a really nice, even kind of yeah. blend on yeah. the uh, 
on the veggies themselves. So we're just gonna set this aside over here. So next up here, I'm gonna prepare our chicken. And so what I've done here is I've just drained, I pat dried, tried to kind of remove the moisture from the outside of the chicken, and then I've diced it up into bite-sized yep. pieces for you. Okay, so I've got the pot on medium heat, okay. and I'm gonna add, for that amount of onions that you've got in the package here, I'm gonna add about two tablespoons of cooking oil. The thing with cooking oil is start off with the two tablespoons, the onions start to stick. Mm -hmm. You can always add a little bit of oil at a time. Get the oil out here. Now for this recipe, we've chosen to dice the onion. Mm -hmm. The onion is the key to how rich the recipe is gonna be. Okay. So the more we saute the onion, okay? We don't wanna burn the onion, but the more we saute the onion so that they're like a golden, darker brown, the richer, the deeper the color. Mm -hmm and the flavor of the curry. The less we saute the onion, which is not a problem if that's your personal choice, mm -hmm. the less you saute the onion, the sweeter it's gonna be. And that's really in Indian food how we decide if we're gonna slice the onion in a curry, if we're gonna chop the onion in a curry, okay. right? It's how deeply do we want to saute okay. and get that flavor in there. Ooh, I love that. What kinds of things are you looking for? In the recipe, we say uh, typically you want to cook your onions for around two to four minutes, but yep. what things visually are you looking for to know that they're at the right place? Okay, so everybody's stove at home is going to be a little bit different, mm -hmm. okay? So <laughs> this noise, mm -hmm. that noise, that sizzle noise. So your instructions say medium heat. At home, depending on what your stove, it might be medium high for you mm -hmm. or just medium for you. So you have to hear it sizzling. Yeah. Right? So if your onions are not sizzling, they're not sauteing, or they're going to take 10 minutes to saute. Right. Okay? So you want to make sure that you see and hear the onion sizzling. Yes. Okay? And how rapidly it's sizzling is how rapidly it's cooking. Ah, okay. So that's good to know. So if you don't hear that sizzle, that's your cue to sort of, okay, maybe I need to adjust the heat a little bit, turn it up. So I have also some fresh ginger and garlic here. I'll just yep. put it here so whenever you're ready. Once you add the ginger and the garlic, the onions are still going to cook, but they're not going to be cooking as intensely. Okay. I want the onions to be the perfect color, but I want to still give them a little bit of time to darken a little bit more because I will be uh, sauteing them some more. The less onion you use, obviously the less oil in the curry. Just stir it, let it go. If it's sticking to the pan, add a little bit more oil. Okay. Okay, because what you don't want is a, like a dry onion, right? Another thing I like to do, so you see how it's getting like a golden brown right now? Oh yes. Some pieces are darker than the other. Yep. All right, that's awesome. Okay. All right, that's fantastic if you can get some pieces that are darker than others because then you get like a little blend of onion flavor. Mm-hmm. Okay, so. Kind of what you're talking about with the cauliflower. Yeah. Just like the cauliflower. Mm -hmm. So this is a normal salt. Like this is like a medium flavor. Okay. Okay, this right here. Now I'm going to just get it a little bit darker mm -hmm. and I'm going to add the garlic. One more sizzle. Even at this stage, if you feel that you, if it's sticking too much to the bottom, add a little bit of oil. Yeah. All right. But you won't need more than probably maximum three tablespoons of this. Okay. And it is going to stick to the bottom of the pot. So you just kind of scrape it off. And then you're going to add the ginger. Mm -hmm. Ooh, the smells in here. Okay, you got to make sure you stir this nicely. And I just want to stress one more time, if this is your first, second, third, fourth time doing it, take your time. It's okay. Keep it on medium. It looks like it's sticking to the bottom of the pan. Yeah. Okay? That's not called sticking to the bottom of the pan. Okay. Because it's not dark brown. I see. All right? So for this, when you add the tomato, mm -hmm. okay, you get this nice toasty flavor, and it's actually going to then kind of melt into the tomatoes. So I'm going to now add my tomatoes to it. It's all about the sizzle. We love to hear the sizzle in this kitchen. <laughs> all right, so we're gonna add the sizzle. All right, so now we're gonna go back to, okay, put the whole entire veggies masala in here. Okay, now this, this is cumin, and the, the key one in here is ancho chili. Yes. All right, so a lot of inner, like cuisines borrow from each other, and Indians love Mexican ancho powder. Okay. That's it. And so I put that in here. Gorgeous. What a beautiful color too. Look at that. Oh, gorgeous, yeah. Right. Yeah. Really giving you a nice base. Right, this is now, all right, so that we've got the veggies masala. Mm -hmm. That is a dry spice masala, okay? Now this is your curry masala. So masala, you've got a wet masala and you get a dry masala. So now when I talk to you about the masala, it's gonna be about what's in this pot. Okay. So right now, this is almost like our flavor stock. Okay, I'm gonna have you stir it. Okay. See, it's kind of wet. Yeah. Kind of wet, kind of looking a little bit like um, watery it's looking, coming kind together. Of. It's yeah. coming together. Yeah. 
So what you're waiting for now, and when you're sauteing it right now, the spices are cooking in the oil, okay? okay. And they're meshing into the tomato. Okay. And you're gonna notice that the oil is gonna start glistening off the tomato. Okay. So this is a step that I, I feel like I commonly skip. Like I'm doing, I'm maybe rushing this and adding my the rest of my curry ingredients yeah, too and fast. Yeah. yeah, exactly. Now this is the part. So remember I was talking earlier, you want to hear that sizzle mm -hmm. and you know you want to make sure that the onions are sauteing. Mm -hmm. This part, once you add the tomatoes, all right, if you're nervous that oh my god, I don't want to burn it, it's my first time cooking curry, at this point you can lower the heat. Okay. If you're not comfortable with it. So okay. Whatever the heat it says on our instructions here. Mm -hmm. If you're a beginner, you can lower it. This will eventually cook very nicely. Oh, lovely. Add the salt that you eat at home. Okay. Okay, okay. so try a teaspoon. Try a teaspoon, okay. This, we've got a half a teaspoon here, so I'll do two of these. Mm -hmm. Salt is never too late to add, but you can't subtract it. You can't subtract, yeah. So now it's one, it's done. It looks beautiful. Okay, and, and smells even better. Now. There. Removing from the heat now and just setting it aside yeah. for a sec, okay. So I'm gonna do our rice here. So I have a small pot and then we have some basmati rice. This rice has already been rinsed, so that's a really important step. So I have our rice here, basmati rice. I've added it to a small pot with one and a quarter cups of salted water. And yes. then I'm gonna put a tablespoon of butter in here as well. If you don't wanna use that much, put half a tablespoon of butter in there. Mm. If you don't want butter, you can just put in like a teaspoon of grapeseed oil. And then we'll just wait actually wait for once it boil. Yeah. yeah, exactly. And then cover it with a lid, yeah. so. Perfect, so we've got our rice going. The next step is cooking our cauliflower and our naan bread. So I'm just gonna go put this in the oven on the top rack and then the naan will go in with it in a second. Okay, so we have our cauliflower going and I am going to wrap our naan in a piece of tin foil and I'm gonna get that going into the oven with the cauliflower. Go. Perfect, and then we're gonna set a timer for 15 minutes and then just let that go and then start back on our curry. Okay. So as the rice is beginning to boil, mm -hmm. right before you put the lid onto the rice, just stir it one time. Okay. And that's gonna just make sure that any rice that's stuck to the bottom of the pan when you're washing it, right, it'll, it won't stick anymore. Okay. So give it a good stir. And then as it starts boiling, as it's doing right now, so if you see it, and it doesn't matter that the butter hasn't fully melted in here. Okay. But the rice is boiling away. That's when you're just gonna cover it up and put it on low. You're not low, okay. There we go. The curry part for this, mm -hmm. you could technically just do water at this point. Because this masala here, as you can, you can see the color, it's a deep, deep orange. Oh yeah. Okay, so the curry, if you don't want whipping cream, Mm -hmm. Okay, just put water in here. Okay. And it'll still be a very flavorful, lighter curry. Okay. But right now we're going for that restaurant feel, right? We're going Full for flavor. that rich, velvety curry. So we're gonna add whipping cream and water to it. Okay, okay? sounds good. Yeah, so I'm just gonna put the heat back on again. At this point, the masala is all done. Okay. Okay, and this is where you decide how soupy you want your curry. Okay. If you're gonna eat it with a lot of rice, okay, or how not soupy you want it because you're gonna eat it more with naan. Okay. Okay, so for this particular recipe, we're gonna use about a third a cup of water. Okay. Okay, so I'm gonna add the water to it. You're trusting me? I'm trusting you. Third. Okay. All right, we've done the water and I'm gonna add all the whipping cream. Yeah, so we've got about three quarters of a yes. cup of whipping cream there. Mm -hmm. Perfect. So, look at this right now. Mm -hmm. It's the same practice. It's watery, and you are going to now saute the cream into here. Okay. Okay, just for a bit so it mixes in well, because okay. you want to make sure now the cream is nicely mixed in with the spices. Okay, so I'm going to go finish up our cauliflower. We're going to broil it for the last two minutes of cooking on 500, mm -hmm. and I will let you finish up the curry here. Okay. Once I've added the cream in the water, I'm going to cook it down, mix it and cook it down for about another minute or two. And just like the tomato masala, how you could kind of see the oil glistening and separating from the tomatoes, now the cream masala, I'm cooking it so that yet again you can see little bits of that golden oil separating from the cream and then that way yet again you're layering up your curry and you know that the spices and the cream are now fully blended together. I have just pulled our cauliflower and our naan bread from the oven. So you can see, as I mentioned before, I was just broiling it for two minutes. So this is gonna help you get that really nice color. So if you look at here, right? I've been, it's been cooking for about two minutes. It's boiling. Mm -hmm. It's a very velvety curry and you see the little dots of oil that yes. have come up on top. Just tiny little dots. 
right? The deep orange dots of oil. Beautiful. So at this point, you're gonna add the chicken. To okay. All right, I'm gonna gently put the chicken in the curry. Stir this in nicely. And then the chicken's gonna add moisture to it as well. Just cover it up and on medium heat. And that's it, we're just gonna let the chicken curry cook. Gorgeous. About 10, 10 to 12 minutes. And so as you can see, I've taken our cauliflower here out of the oven, and then we have our naan here too, which I'm just gonna yeah. leave wrapped in foil until we're ready to serve. So it smells like our chicken it curry does, is done. Right? Yeah, 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 it's absolutely. done. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and finish that off and then we're gonna plate. So we're gonna add the last couple ingredients here. Yep, and now it's all about, so the dish is tasting beautiful right now. Mm -hmm. I can smell it. If it smells good, it's gonna taste good. Mm -hmm. Now I'm gonna show you something here. Okay. So I'm gonna, the chicken's done. All right, I've turned off the heat and watch out for the steam that's gonna come here. <laughs> so I have here chili flakes. I prefer to use cayenne pepper flakes mm -hmm. because again, it's the color of it. So I'm gonna just take it in here. And then I'm also gonna stir in the cilantro. Okay. I'm just gonna put it all in here. Okay. Because I love cilantro. Mm -hmm. Okay, so it all goes in here. And the thing with Indian food, even with the rice, right? Mm -hmm. You want to give it a good stir. Okay. Okay, before you uh, plate it. It's gorgeous. There we go. Okay. There we go. Why don't we put it right there in the front? And then. Alrighty. Take a little bit of chili flakes and you can just add them on that rice. Well, we've got our dish plated here. We've yep. got some rice, some naan, some cauliflower, and our curry. We're gonna give it a taste. Mm -hmm. Let's see how it is. I've got a nice piece of chicken here. Oh my gosh. What? Oh, I'm speechless. Mm -hmm. It's good. Mm -hmm. It's great. It's great. Mm -hmm. um, thank you so much for being here today. Oh, you're welcome. We'd love to hear all of your feedback that you have on this recipe. Feel free to be in touch with us. And again, any questions, I would love to answer them. Absolutely. Yeah. So thank you so much for thank teaching you. us. Thanks.